Hi there, Jez Feldmister here. Just wanted to give you a quick video on how to make an animated GIF in Photoshop. And I'm just going to be showing you the basics of making an image into a GIF and not all the tools that Photoshop uses to make such things. So very briefly, you start with a blank image the size of the banner that you want to make. And then you can add, let's say for example, I've got this one, it's going to be a um, a jungle background. So I've taken a um, snap of a piece of uh, image off the web which is a jungle and I can just move this. It's obviously the image is bigger than my banner so I just choose how I want this to appear. And in order to make an animated GIF you need to have various images and in order to get that you go into Window Animation so when you click this uh, window here, you see the animation uh, window open up. And here I have basically copied this uh, frame into six places. And each frame, if you can see on here, there are absence of eyeballs, which means all of these things are invisible. And basically, when you click on one of these little eyeballs, it makes the layer visible or invisible. So for the first frame, I want to show just this basic image of the jungle. The second frame, I've added some text. And the third frame, I've added some more text and taken away the first text. And by turning each one of these layers on and off, as we flick through the basic images, we get the uh, GIF animation as we want it. Each one of these scenes, if you like, has uh, a certain length, and we can determine how much, how long that particular image is going to be showing for. So there are two parts to saving the file. The first one is to actually just save the file as a Photoshop file. And the second part is to save it for the web as a GIF, where Photoshop will actually put into place all these images with the right timing. And so that we do file save for web, and then it opens image ready. Unfortunately, you're not going to be able to see all of this because it's out of the size of the view, unless I can do something. No, I can't, because um, it just optimizes the images and puts them all together. So then I say save, and it asks me where to save it. So I'm going to put it to the desktop and call it a gettrain.gif, and it does its magic. And once it's finished, then I can actually just open the GIF in my web page. Here we go. See each one of the images for the length of time that we've set in our uh, frames here. And there you go. That's a GIF. Put it to whatever use you see fit and uh, have fun making your animated banners. See you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye for now. Thank you.